you know they say uh studies show if you don't like my video your um, your dick falls off within um before the video's over so go go ahead and like the video real quick save yourself my neck tall like iron giant need a hanger for these racks fuck the beef is crunch time turn them niggas to a pack youtube what's good it's your boy phil it's your boy and i'm back with a brand new video i'm gonna show you guys how to do a low taper fade with no guard I'm gonna pick out the hair first, comb it out, whatever, whatever. Just comb it out thoroughly, you know what I'm saying, so the, uh, the hair can cut down evenly. And I'm gonna cut down the, the hair, obviously, first with a guard. <clears throat> and, uh, and then I'm gonna do the actual fade with no guard. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Boom. Just cutting down the guard, cutting down the hair with a guard, blah, blah, blah. I'm using a one and a half. As you can see, I'm all the way closed. I think I'm gonna come back later with like a one or a one and open. I'm gonna let y'all know what I do. But anyways, I'm with a one and a half right now. As y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? Just taking that hair down, being nice and even, making sure all that shit is goddamn even. You feel me? Just cutting, cutting, cutting. How y'all liking these videos every day, man? Y'all like y'all like how I'm doing it, don't it? Y'all like, God damn, how, the f how he popping out so much? You know what I'm saying? How he how he doing that so much? He went from posting nothing to just bum 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 here there bam bam everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Cause bitch, I'm big dude. You feel me? If you y'all yeah, go type in big dude, big boogie. That's what I am. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna post. You feel me? So anyway, I put my ball guy line in with the uh with the trimmer. Boom down there. Then I come back all the way open, all the way open. As you can see, putting that second guy line in. Then I'm gonna go all the way open. With the grain, just knock off a little of that bulk, you know what I'm saying? Take off a little of that bulk area right there. And um, yeah, it's really simple. No guard, going with the grain right now. Taking a little bit of that bulk off and flip it back over. Using the, I'm gonna use the edge of my clipper, okay? I'm just gonna attack the little dark spots that I see, you know what I'm saying? Try to make it lighten that whole area up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just lighten the whole area up using the edge of my um of my clipper and um yeah just like that using the edge of my clipper just going in and attacking just like that and uh yeah it's that simple man it's that simple just using the edge of my clipper i'm gonna lighten that whole area up with no guard I'm going with the grain right now again as you can see getting a little bit of that dark spot out at the top at the very top of that blend and uh yeah sometimes i switch from um full commitment with the blade flat into with the edge of my clipper just whatever you need to do in order to get that hair you know what i'm saying lighten up I mean, it's no real way to like explain it i'm just whatever dark spots i see i'm kind of hitting it with the edge of my clipper you know what i'm saying just go into it with the with the edge of the clipper, and it's, you can't really tell somebody how to cut. They have to just do it from themselves. Just hit the edge of the clipper, turn your clipper on the side, and hit that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna lighten up. It's just gonna lighten up naturally. Then I go at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? The lower I am in the fade, usually I'll commit more all the way. As you can see, I couldn't really commit that much all the way at that higher level right there. So I had to go all the way to the edge again. Because if I did kept going all the way flat up there it was gonna make like a line and so i had to turn it i had to turn it man turn <laughs> y'all know how uh t i always be saying that shit in his songs in the new song and shit turn it sound like he fucking future or some shit anyway i closed the guard all the way up just coming back at the bottom um where i didn't fade out that first guy line yet just went all the way to the uh bottom and close the guard all the way up boom i'm all the way open edge of the clipper edge of the clipper and yeah that's all i'm doing that's all i'm doing using the edge of that clipper man I'm with the grain again knocking out some bulk knocking out some bulk being careful you know what i'm saying it's all really just freehanding when you're not using no guard you it's not you can't really explain it there's no steps really it's just just you're just freehanding everything the whole fade but I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this side. Um, let me just make sure 
I did the exact same steps as now. I'm going to explain it. But it's going to be with no guard. Boom. Put the trimming line, line in there. Bomb, 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 as you can see. Trimmer guideline is in. Trimmer guideline is in. Now we are on to the all the way open phase with no guard. Then I, um, on the side, I actually went ahead and faded that all the way out. I went halfway right underneath of where I went all the way open. Then I went all the way closed right underneath where I went halfway at right there at the first guideline. So I faded that out already. I did that first instead of uh, waiting like I did on the back. But then I come back just like I did on the back and I um, go with the grain, knock that bulk out, you know what I'm saying? Kind of go towards the temple two area where the vertical bar is. So it don't just be like straight hair, you know what I'm saying? Most people kind of want like a burst taper, I would say, or that's why I end up doing one of them. Um, not like, I don't know, not just straight faded right there. They kind of want it all the way up there too, but they want the vertical bar with it. But that's what I that's what I normally do on people, as you can see. Anyways, I go all the way open with the edge of my clipper, and then uh, I went halfway closed right there, just a flat. Take a little bit more hair off, fade a little bit more hair, and I'm just playing with the lever too. Um, but I'm using the edge of my clipper. You know what I'm saying? Open, closed, all the way open. But now I'm just closed, just hitting the bottom, just trying to get a little bit of more of that uh, ball guy line out or that down there area. And I just play with the lever, man. Uh, the same thing I'm doing when I'm all the way open using the edge of my clipper is the same thing I'm doing when I'm halfway or anywhere else in the, in the lever. You know what I'm saying? If I'm all the way closed, going with the edge of my clipper, I'm just lightening up, making more more uh, scalp appear and less hair appear. You know what I'm saying? Making it lighter in certain areas so it can be have like a taper effect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do the exact same thing on this side, man. Exact same steps, exact same steps. I might do something out of order, but I do the exact same steps. Boom, I knock the bolt down first, I with the grain. Then I put the uh, first guy line in all the way open, and I went halfway closed, and I went all the way closed by moving down each time a little bit underneath every time I do it all the way open. I just did, and I went underneath that, a little bit underneath that, halfway closed, and I went a little bit underneath that, all the way closed. Then I went all the way open, as you can see, with the edge of my clipper, just making that taper effect with the edge of my clipper, just freehanding, freehanding. You can play with the lever when you're uh, in this stage. Just every time you close it, go down a little bit. Every time you open it, then you wanna go a little bit higher. You know what I'm saying, in the fade. Just remember where, you, where you're at when you're open and when you're halfway closed and when you're all the way closed and just make that taper effect. Boom, simple as that. Going with the grain, trying to get some of that bulk out right there in that area, that back area. As you can see, they're lighting it up. Went ahead and lighten that up. It's simple as that with no guard no guard it's that that easy this guy didn't get no enhancement he was trying to get in and out too so you know what I'm saying when a people when a person's hair this low and you can tell their hair is kind of gonna uh it's gonna take well with no guard you can get them out of there pretty quick especially they don't got an enhancement and what i did on the front lineup right here i just knocked some of the hair down with the one guard all the way open then i came back all the way closed just knocked it down some more spray the hairspray, you know what I'm saying? Tresemme, four or five, send or unsend it, whichever one uh, you you want to get. I use a Tresemme, four or five, send it or unsend it, whichever one. But yeah, boom, I come out the hair before I do all that, put the spray on there, then I come back with the blow dryer, blow it off. Then I come back with my liners. From the center all the way to the right or the left, I go to the side with the least hair first, so I can bring up the side with the most hair and match it evenly if they want their hair you know what I'm saying most people want their hair even they like most people I could they don't want they don't want like to leave the line up out you know what I'm saying and have it like just line it up where it would be so I have to end up just just cutting it anyway cut it kind of putting it back pushing it back my bad I was young y'all but I'm just this guy doesn't really have light spots so I don't have to do that but I'm just saying go with the side with the least hair first and then you can bring the other side up and match it make it even so I'm just starting from the middle to the right or the left on both sides. Get on with the vertical bar, C cup, stand on the edge of the hair about a millimeter or two in. That's how you do a lineup. And you don't want to stay like right on the edge because you're not going to cut anything. Just go about a millimeter or two in. And then I come back. Well, he didn't want no enhancement at all, so I didn't do anything but try to uh, make the lineup a little sharper. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's gonna be the end of the cut. I put like little pencils on the C cup because I was trying to see if they was even or not. Um, but he didn't want no pencil or nothing at all. I was just trying to make sure it was even. 
and uh that's one like that's the most imp- that's the most practical use for the pencil man like to make sure stuff even i know it's for to make stuff look good like it's like an ash line to make the contrast pop and stuff too but it's really uh for me the most practical use is just i can figure i can see if it's the if the lineup is even or not so use that pencil if you want to you know what i'm saying you use your phone camera as you can see i'm using now try to, it can help you see if stuff is even or stuff like that and uh yeah i'll see i put the pencil on right there at the bottom he didn't want a pencil at all i just needed to put it on at the bottom to see if those vertical bars were one of them was longer than the other one and i could tell once i put that pencil on they was they was even they was even steven they was lizzie mcguire you know what i'm saying so boom that's how you do a cut with no guard man it's that simple i'm gonna line up the back of his head well first i'm gonna do shave off the hair on his face boom boom as you can see bald and all that gonna line up that mustache i go with the grain all the way open to knock the hair down um on mustaches his didn't need to be knocked down so i just lined it up just lined it up i lined the bottom of the mustache first don't go with the top because usually when you cut the top you can cut too much off because you don't you don't have a little guideline at the bottom first and it, it may look like you're not cutting that much off but when you line up the bottom it's like dang it's dang skinny that's because you didn't put your guideline in, but didn't put the guideline into the bottom line. The bottom of the mustache first, and then I come back to the top, and then boom, I just taper it, try to make it a little thicker in the center. You know what I'm saying? Boom, make it skinny on the edges. Boom, and that's that's the cut, man. That's the cut. I'm gonna line up the back, stay on the edge of the hair, stay on the edge of the line up. I just came back when I wasn't a half just to make sure all that hair was even because it looked like it was kind of dark a little bit. But that's the same guard I used to cut down in the beginning anyway. So I'm just trying to make sure everything was consistent and even. Then I'm just gonna go and line up the back. You know what I'm saying? Going in a millimeter in onto his natural line. Stay on the edge. Millimeter in. Boom, boom, boom. Making that thing nice and defined. Nice and defined. You feel me? This guy eating freaking McDonald's in my chair. Man, all my freaking, a lot of my clients be moving so much in these chairs in these videos, man. I'm sorry, bro. I be trying to put them in the one position, but they just keep moving like they got ants in their pants. Like they fucking, I don't know. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. But anyways, boom. Line up the other side, define that line up, you know what I'm saying? Millimeter two in, boom, 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 from where the hair naturally grows. As you can see, boom, lining them up, lining them up balding out that bottom you know what i'm saying even more getting the hair off his neck and that's the end of the cut man that's all it is that's all it is to it man no guard taper it's really simple taking out a little bit more bulk at that top right there i'm not going all the way into the scalp just kind of not staying at the top but i'm going into it a little bit but i'm not trying to go all the way to the scalp so i took off a little of that bulk no guard boom 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 coming back at the top of that a little bit with no guard all the way open you know what i'm saying lightening it up a little bit and uh that's pretty much it that's pretty much it. i'm gonna detail a little bit more here with the edge of my clipper because i felt like the middle was kind of dark but um yeah man that's all it is to it that's all it is to it man boom spin them around spin them around that's the final cut that's the final cut i'm gonna show y'all just like how i do always with the end result in a second wiping them off with the duster and that's it we're about to show you it's the final product right here final product no guard taper fade as you can see that fade is like any other fade you're gonna see basically in the shop man you can get that fade and you get them in and get them out thank y'all for watching make sure y'all like comment and subscribe i'm out black and white diamonds man my wrist should be on black on my bracelets and watches on my arms i look